Mephibosheth. Hard to pronounce, tougher to spell. It's a Bible name. It's a boy that went through some tough times early on. His dad was Jonathan, a good friend of David. His grandfather was Saul, who was a king, and so you would say, hey, it sounds like he was born into a good family because of some decisions his grandfather made. His grandfather was killed, his dad was killed, and here he is. They're trying to rescue him, get him away from the enemies, and, and he falls and he becomes lame at the age of five, not being able to walk at the age of five. So now he's in hiding, now he's crippled, he's poor. Doesn't sound like a very good life. But David is now the king. And David had promised Jonathan and he promised Saul he would take care of their families. And so he goes out and he seeks and he finds this little boy. This little boy that's poor, this little boy that's crippled, this little boy that's in hiding. And he says, I want you to come with me. I want to take you in my house. And he basically promised him three things. He said, I will be kind to you. I will show you kindness. And he said, I will give you back your grandfather's land. And then he said, you will always eat at my table. Think about eating at the king's table. And so he made a promise to him that he would always have a place. How great that was. That was grace. He could have easily had him killed and said, well, you're just a descendant of the former king. But you know, David's actions remind us of God, how God takes care of us, how God promises us that we can always have a place at his table. So whatever's going on in your life, whatever's happened, maybe bad, maybe whatever, God always has a place at the table. Mephibosheth, what a name, what a story.